Happy Monday, Foxes. I am excited to be doing the announcements with you. We have a lot to celebrate, so let's get started. Responsibility is our word for the month. It is about doing things that we are supposed to do. And our Farmdale character strategy is to ask permission to do something. It is Hispanic Heritage Month um, in honor of Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. They were two um, important Hispanic Americans. They founded the National Farm Workers Association and led peaceful protests and marches to advocate for civil rights. Miss Brenda is back with her activities. For the first time this year, Fox Support is fully staffed. So that means that Miss Brenda can get back to her, her activity schedule. Um, for this week, September 18th to the 22nd, first, second, and third grade students, she will be doing giant Jenga out there on the playground. And fourth and fifth, um, during your lunch recess, um, she will be doing flag football. So enjoy this and remember, be respectful and follow the directions of Miss Brenda, please. This week, cross country practice will be Tuesday and Thursday. If you are going to miss, be sure to let Miss Gomez know. Wednesday is a minimum day. So make sure that you let your family know that the release time is 1.30 on Wednesday. Student council meeting for all class representatives Thursday morning in the library at eight o'clock. Don't be late. Remember, if it doesn't belong to you, leave it alone. Um, we have all of our cameras up and running. So if things go missing from backpacks, we will pull footage to find out who is not being respectful and responsible for um, going into other people's backpacks. If it doesn't belong to you, leave it alone. Crocs, we're still having issues with that. this. Yes, you can wear Crocs to school. They need to be in sport mode. If um, you have PE, which fourth and fifth, you have PE every day, you need to make sure you have PE shoes in your backpack to change into. Um, all grade levels, make sure you pick up the equipment. It, we are doing a better job as a team doing this. Fifth grade, you're the last grade out there at lunch. So if you can help um, us by making sure everything is picked up um, before you go back to class. Soccer equipment will be available this week for third through fifth grade students. And here are some basic rules that you need to follow while playing soccer. You need to have boundaries. You pick two teams. Please don't hang on the goalpost. No slide tackles or elbows. And if it's out of bounds, you need to make sure you're throwing it in. Shoes must be worn. Only the goalie in the goal, um, in the goal. All right. Um, in the past, we've had um, students hanging out in the goal, and that is not okay. That's not safe. And then no touching the ball unless you are the goalie. The second round of Moana auditions is here. Um, these were posted outside of Fox Support, but um, if you see the first one on the left. Those are character roles for the girls. So congratulations to the eight of you for making the second round. In the middle, um, we have the ensemble. So congratulations to you all that made the second round. And if you look, the dates to um, report are listed. The ones on the left for the girls' roles report to um, uh, Miss Hogue on Tuesday, um, September 19th, and then um, Wednesday, September 20th for um, the ensemble, and then 
Um, we have one Fox who made the second round. He will report um, on September 21st. So congratulations to all of you. Great job. And I cannot wait to see the play. Positive office referrals. Melanie from Miss Blakey's class is always helping others. One day a student spilled water and got wet. Melanie not only helped him dry his clothes, but she also got extra paper and wiped and cleaned his bag. She also helps her classmates with projects in the classroom. Thank you, Melanie. David from Mrs. Zhang's kindergarten class always has a smile on his face and is a friend to all. He is a great friend that everyone would love to have. David, that's really special. Thank you. And Audrey from Miss Ray's class, kindergarten class got a positive office referral for always being willing to help without being asked. She is always reliable and Mrs. Ray says she's an amazing fox. Awesome job, Audrey. Miguel from Mrs. Gunn's class is already a top fox. He's been working hard to get his AR points and has already met his reflex math goal. Congratulations, Miguel. Awesome work. Live the creed. Um, we have seven um, is our number to focus on. So let's see how we're doing on Live the Creed. Remember, you need to get to seven. All right, we're almost there. It looks like Miss Newville's class only has one more. And fourth grade is still in the lead for attendance. Kindergarten, first and fifth all made gains in their attendance last week. Second, third and fourth slipped a bit. So make sure we are getting to school on time. All right, speaking of getting to school on time, we last, last the last announcements, we had 328 students that had perfect attendance during the week of um, September 5th. But for the week of 9-11, we had 744. So awesome job. We have our perfect attendance winners for the week. Um, TK, we have um, <clears throat> Sophia T and um, Nehemiah S. For kinder, um, the winners, 91 students um, in, with perfect attendance though, um, ENC and Ezra T. First grade, we had 118 students with perfect attendance. The winners are Matthew E. and Alexa C. Second grade, we had 125 students with perfect attendance. The winners are Deleza T. and Sebastian J. Third grade, had 108 students in, with perfect attendance. And Andy V. was a winner and Elijah A. Um, was a winner. And then for fourth grade, we had 126 students with perfect attendance, Bianca H and Gianna A. And then for um, fifth grade, we had 151 students with perfect attendance, Mark M and, um, sorry about that, Mark M and Layla S. Um, awesome job. All right, and we're going to move on to the, their cute little picture. Awesome job, you guys. Take a look at all those smiles. And then we have a shout out from Mrs. Gunn to Lizbeth for already reaching her AR goal for trimester one. Great job. And Ms. Patrick wanted to give a shout out to um, Lynette for working hard, understanding her math, and then sharing her knowledge by teaching her peers. Great job, Lynette. And we are back. These were top, these were um, the snow cone parties we got to go to. We were back in Miss Ray's class for her Foxes on Time party. 
and Mrs. Zhang's kindergarten class had their first Foxes on Time party. And Mrs. Gomez's class had their first Foxes on Time party this year. Look at all those happy kids eating their snow cones. And then Miss Newville's, um, <laughs> she was our last class that we went to on Thursday for Foxes on Time. And her students told us that they were ready to earn another one. Shout out for perfect attendance. Um, Mrs. Charo's class had perfect attendance on 9597, 912, and 913. <laughs> <clears throat> and Mrs. Mrs. Zhang and Mrs. Lowe had perfect attendance on 912. Great job. Mrs. Gomez and Mrs. Lowe had perfect attendance on 913. And Mrs. Gunn had perfect attendance on 913, 914, and 915. Mrs. Mua's second grade class had perfect attendance on 914. And are we ready for kindness ticket winners? Miss Zoe, Miss Quinn, can you bring me the kindness ticket tub? Are you in here? Here we go. They're delivering it. Are you guys ready? Okay, Miss Zoe, it's your turn. She's so excited. All right, who do we have, Miss Zoe? Josue. Josue from Mrs. Van Cleve's class. Awesome job, Josue. Thank you for being kind. Andrew from Johnson's class. Awesome job, Andrew. And we'll give these to Mrs. Um, Spillman. Olivia. Let's do one more, Miss Zoe. Okay. Olivia from Miss Cecil's class. And who's our last one? Eros. <gasps> Eros from Mrs. Vargas's class. I will turn these into Miss um, Spillman. Thank you, Zoe. Um and you will get your special prize from Miss Spillman. All right, quote, quote of the week, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Remember, try your hardest, work your best, and try to be the best fox that you can be. All right, if it's your birthday week, don't forget to pick up your birthday book from the library. And let's do our Fox Creed. Fox is up. To be a fox, repeat in your mind, be safe, be responsible, be respectful and kind. Remember, Miss Spillman, Miss Villarreal, and I are here for you. Have a wonderful week, foxes. And remember, you have so much good to give. So remember, to be respectful, be responsible, be safe, be kind, and we will see you around campus. Bye.